Man, I'm sat in this recording listening to Stranger Synths, which is kind of like a synth wave, a synth wave, a retro synth wave mixtape of like Stranger Things type music, and it's just fucking great. I love it, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, how's it going, everyone? My name is Dylan. If you're new to the channel, I talk about Halloween a lot and sometimes other horror franchises, and today I wanted to talk about Halloween 2018. Now the Blu-ray slash digital release just kind of came out a couple days ago and uh, I figured, you know what, I'm going to talk about the future of the Halloween franchise. Uh, David Gordon Green's Halloween, it, it done away with all the many sequels that came with the Halloween fra- my, my dogs, came with the Halloween franchise so it could start fresh and continue on from the first film. And uh, with that, they also scrapped the idea of Michael and Laurie being related, flipping the table completely and having Michael be hunted rather than Laurie be hunted. Now I think it's it's extremely obvious that a sequel to Halloween 2018 will come eventually. I mean, Jamie Lee Curtis is willing to do it, Nick Castle is willing to do it, and I think I read somewhere that Nick, not Nick Castle, that um, James Jude Courtney would be interested in a sequel too. You know, for a movie that makes over $250 million, I can't see why there wouldn't be a sequel. And there have actually been rumours previously that the, the film is already underway, but none officially. And I think when I read that whole rumour thing, it did say that Danny McBride and David Gordon Green wouldn't be involved. And the thing about Jamie Lee Curtis being interested is, she said when she was interested that she'd only be interested had David Gordon Green um, agreed to sign on for, you know, being the, direct the director of the film. So if David Gordon Green isn't involved with the film, then maybe Jamie Lee Curtis isn't going to be too. And I think the only thing keeping a franchise like this going is the fact that Jamie Lee Curtis is still involved. Same with Nick Castle and the same with John Carpenter. I mean, had they not been involved with the 2018 film, many people may have been weary about the idea. And I for one, I felt like having Jamie back to play Laurie gave the film that push it needed to be taken a bit more seriously. And I'm surprised that John Carpenter even jumped back on board. He seemed very cold towards the franchise and the character. But I do understand, the franchise went down a road he didn't like. Um, I remember, I think it was February 2017, John Carpenter posted on Facebook saying, so you say you want a revolution, you want to bring back Halloween and make things rock again is that what it said or shake things up or something like that and uh, he basically announced that he'd be involved somehow with the film he, he announced that David Gordon Green and Danny McBride came to him uh, they showed him the script all this jazz and, and he, he announced that the film would happen and, and that, that excited me because John Carpenter the creator of the first Halloween film you know the backbone for the franchise essentially uh, or not the backbone but you know what I mean Michael Myers is the backbone, but he he lit the fire that sparked the whole franchise, I guess you could say. And uh, yeah, I was excited to know that John Carpenter would be involved. But I think if, if Blumhouse came out with another film that didn't involve Jamie Lee Curtis or didn't involve Nick Castle or didn't involve um, John Carpenter, I would just say, no, I don't want to see it. I really don't because James Duke Courtney is a tremendous actor, but I don't think he brought anything to the table that... Um, the other Michael Myers didn't bring. I think Tyler Mayne was a fantastic Michael Myers. And I'm not comparing them at all, but I, I think the reason the film was such a success and you know everyone was talking about it is because all of these people were back um, you know, doing the movie. Uh, but should the sequel go ahead, I can only imagine Laurie's character will finally see her demise at the end of the film. Because with the first movie, the 2018 film, we, we see Michael trapped in the basement and set on fire, but we never see Michael's burnt body, which means Michael perhaps is still alive and I'm hoping if they continue on with the franchise they might do like sort of like an anthology franchise type thing go with what John Carpenter originally wanted to do and I think having a Halloween film that takes on a different story would be kind of cool I just feel like Michael Myers character has been played out for too long I mean let's say you do make another Halloween film and Michael Myers goes after Allison why revenge for trying to kill him I don't really see the point in it too much there is though one concept I think it would be kind of interesting for Blumhouse to take and that's if they, they, they made a sequel to the film and they had one of the, the crazy mental patients that Michael Myers is locked up with and have them be some sort of copycat killer. You know, because they've spent time with Michael, they might understand, you know, what's going through his head. I, maybe, possibly, I don't know. But they, they, they might kind of understand Michael a bit more than um, Aaron and Dana. You know, they might. And uh, I'm sure they're aware of what happened in 1978 and I'm sure they're aware of what happened in 2018. So yeah Blumhouse if you decide to make a copycat film um, I'll, I'll get on to you with my email and we'll exchange information you can send me my uh, my cut from the movie because 
it's my idea, I'm just kidding, no, it's a joke, obviously, <laughs> as a joke, uh, and I think the only real way to center another film around Michael and Allison would be to have Allison hunt Michael if he survived, but even that, like, I, I don't know, I, I didn't really enjoy too much having Laurie be the hunter for the film, it didn't really strike me as a Halloween film, and as much as I do love the Halloween franchise, I don't think we need another Halloween film, and I kind of wish we could, like, focus on a different franchise maybe create a new one or or even look at moving to another franchise you know because when i see in the movie i enjoyed it like i enjoyed it a lot don't get me wrong but now when i'm watching it it doesn't feel like i'm watching a halloween movie and it's by no means a bad film but it's so much different you know yet they tried so hard to reference you know previous films for some reason it just didn't feel like any other halloween film and i can't really fully get behind the film and maybe it's it's going to take some time but it's just not my favorite for now and i think come come october next year it's probably the last halloween film i'll watch and I, i'm saying that truthfully but the good thing is blumhouse has their eyes on other franchises so if they do work on a halloween film in the future which i don't know if they will i'm sure they'll be working on another franchise at the same time i think they've expressed their interest in scream which is interesting because nev camp or neve campbell man, nev neve campbell was saying uh, in an interview a couple months ago that she doesn't think another Scream film will ever happen and she doesn't think it can happen with the likes of Wes Craven being pa having passed away it, it, it doesn't seem like it will and uh, we know Dwight the officer playing Dewey uh, expressed his interest in, in reprising the role and, and, and hopefully you know getting another one on board but apart from that nothing is said about Scream and uh, A Nightmare on Elm Street we don't know about because Robert England, he said before he wants to play Freddy one more time, but then he went to play Freddy in uh, in um, in the Goldbergs, that's what it was. So technically he did play Freddy one more time and maybe he's not interested anymore. And Friday the 13th, we, we don't know because I think um, the NBA, what's his name? Michael, not Michael Jordan, Jesus, what the fuck. Uh, what the, the NBA player who wants to have his company work on the next Friday the 13th film What's his name? LeBron James. That's what it is. LeBron James. Um, yeah, he might get the ball rolling with that one if the, the whole legal battle is somehow fixed. Uh, I don't know. Look, I'm going to be honest with you, though. As, as a horror fan, and, you know, we're, we're all horror fans here, I think we're in for a pretty good ride this year. There's so many awesome films coming out. I mean, It Chapter 2 is going to be insane. Pet Cemetery. Oh, my God. Happy Death Day to You is going to be good. Us looks really fucking good. And Tree From Hell. Man, I don't know. I think with the new the new Us movie coming out, a lot of people are trying to compare um, Jordan Peele to like John Carpenter. I've seen that comparison on Facebook, which is kind of crazy and insane. But uh, you know, I don't think Jordan Peele has worked enough and worked on enough movies to um, show if he's really, you know, going to be the next John Carpenter. I mean, Get Out was was crazy. It was a great film, but there's no guarantee that Us will be um, as good of a film as Get Out. You know, but it could be. The chances is, is it will be just as good, but. Uh, I don't know and there's even movies that like don't pop out until uh, they're about to be released which tend to be quite quite awesome too so I have no idea um, I'm gonna say though I'm, I'm looking forward to making more Halloween videos I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you I used to make videos like uh, the story of Judith Myers and Laurie Strode and just talk about like Halloween a bit more in depth than maybe the films might get into and um, I really enjoyed those videos they took a bit longer to make but I'm considering going back to them ones because at the end of the day, when I when I go back and watch them, uh, I feel a lot, ha a lot happier and a lot more content with what I'm making when I spend more time on it. Like, I've been watching a lot of Dave McRae, uh, Drum Dums, Cody Leach, um, a few of the channels too. And I don't know how they make so many videos, man. I'm going to be honest. The, the well is quite dry right here because I have no idea what the fuck to do. I don't want to focus just on Halloween, but it seems like Halloween is the most popular for my channel and I enjoy it the most too. It's my favorite franchise, so uh, maybe if I just work on what I enjoy and uh, take it quite slow, I'll eventually get to where I want to go. But um, what do you think Blumhouse should do? Should they make another Halloween sequel or or should they just forget about Michael Myers and move on to something else? Or, or even should Blumhouse forget about Michael Myers for now and then maybe four or five years down the road? They could pop Michael Myers out when no one expects it. You know, when it's least expected, bang, a movie comes out, and then there you go. It's right there. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts about it because having a discussion is always the best part of these videos. And if you did enjoy it, if you could leave a like rating, it would help out. It's actually crazy because when people leave likes in the videos, it helps with the algorithm. Apparently, it's something I only learned recently. 
but um, it helps with the algorithm and more people will see the video. So if you feel like maybe more people should see the video, please leave a like on it. And if you didn't enjoy the video, or if you didn't, I don't know if I said that right. If you didn't enjoy the video, you can leave a dislike. It's, it's entirely up to yourself. But I thank you for, for taking your time to watch this. How long have you been here for? 10 minutes. I, I appreciate your, uh, your time here today. If you enjoyed, like I said, you know what to do. Um, yeah, okay. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day, everybody.